This week we're going to go ahead and work on actually developing power in our punches. Okay, there's a, a basic principle of how to hit so as to put your entire body behind the punches. And when you understand this, then all your punches and all your kicks, you'll be able to understand how to hit harder with the... Uh, fuck, no. It's always getting started. It's the tough part. Take time, man. Don't worry about it. Okay, guys. This week we're going to go ahead and start off by learning how to put your body behind your hits. This is going to increase the power in your kicks and the power in your punches. Okay, so I'm going to bring Daniel in. All right. He's going to hold this focus glove for me here. If you get a chance to, to do this drill, I highly encourage this. If you got a punching bag or whatever, what I want you to do, and this is going to seem kind of silly at first, but I want you to just go ahead and, and stand feet hip width apart, just kind of stand in front of the, the pad, and I just want you to just slap the glove, boom, like that, right? Just, just here, boom, okay? That's all arm power right there. Now, I want you to relax your arms by your side. I don't want you to have any muscle tension in your arms. I want you to just relax them, okay? And start turning your body here. Just let your arms kind of just drape across your body here, just, just side to side. Now start moving your feet, okay? See how I'm just moving my feet side to side. My whole body's getting into it. Now, with my arms completely relaxed, I want to pull my body around so hard that it swings my arm up into the glove, okay? I'm not using any arm power. I'm not lifting my arm up to hit. I'm here, I'm relaxed, and I'm just going to swing here, okay? And just let my arm swing through. One more time. So I'm here, boom, okay? I'll do it a couple more times, actually. So I'm here, just kind of swinging, let my arms just kind of swing back around. Boom, there. Okay, one last time. Here, and even when you hit, you're just going to swing through. Okay? So that's the idea. You're learning how to put your body behind the hits. Obviously, you know, you're not going to go up to somebody and start doing this thing on them unless, I don't know, drunken monkey style or something. But, um, but the idea is understanding how to put your power, put your whole body behind the way you hit. That's why I'm turning my feet back and forth. Now, uh, another point that I want to talk about, I call it kind of the rubber band principle. You want to think of, if you had a rubber band attached from your shoulder to your chest, okay? So rather than thinking of pushing my hand through, what I'm going to think of doing is stretching that rubber band. So then it snaps closed. So when I'm here, I'm just stretching that rubber band and allowing that to just snap closed. Okay? Now, as you get more comfortable with that, you're going to start getting into your stance and right here. And this is the idea behind Bruce Lee's three-inch punch was it's not that you're going to get into a fight with somebody and you're going to go up to him and go, huh, three-inch punch, right? But the idea is that if you understand how to put your body into a shot, into a punch, you don't need this distance here. You don't have to go a far distance. You can be six inches away or three inches away. I can be right here on the person. If I understand how to put my body behind a shot just like what we did, then from right here, I can go here and create that same kind of power. So from right here, I can pop there, okay? Same principle, here, okay? Alright guys, so now we're going to go ahead and add three new punches to our repertoire here. So Daniel will come in for me. And we're going to start with our lead hook punch. Okay? So from my on guard position, I'm going to use that same principle that we just went over about using the whole body behind it. And I'm just going to think of switching my heels. I've got this back heel up. I'm going to drop that heel and lift my front heel. As I do that, I'm going to turn my body. Okay? My elbow is going to come up to be in line with my fist here. And my elbow is coming up. And as I do this, 
I'm just going to turn my body. Again, remember that rubber band principle. I want to stretch that rubber band and then close it. Okay, so if I'm facing the camera here, I'm going to bring my elbow up as I turn my body. All right? You can punch horizontal or you can punch vertical fist with this hook punch. But the important thing is, is that whichever way I go, I'm not moving my arm forward. There's none of this. I'm not hooking like that. I set this motion here. I set this, my arm is locked, and I just, boom, turn my body to get the power behind it. So again, think of that rubber band right here. I'm going to go there. Now my elbow just drops down, and I'm back in my on guard position. I'm not flying off into the ozone, right? So I'm here. We're just going to go hook and down. Okay? The next one we're going to work is the shovel hook. Now when you understand it, all punching really, but especially any of these hooks or uppercuts or any of that, they all follow the same principle. And, you know, this is a hook, this is a shovel hook, the one we're about to do, and then this would be an uppercut. They're all just variations of the same motion. So if you understand one, you understand them all. So he's holding this about solar plexus height right now. Where's this hook? We're doing it up at the head. He's going to hold this one at solar plexus height. So I'm going to go ahead and have my, my arm low. Okay? And right here, I'm going to, again, pop my hip up. And just like I'm turning over on the hook, now I'm projecting my power on kind of a, a, a diagonal line. So I want to pop that up. Think of almost hitting with your hip. Okay, so I'm here, boom, right there. If I had my hand up and I wanted to hit this, I would dip my body down and then come up. Okay, I wouldn't drop my hand like this. If my hand's already down, I might pop it right up. Okay, if my hand's up, I'm going to drop my hip and snap it up here. So I'm here, boom. All right, one more time. Boom, there. Okay, last one, uppercut. Now, if you're holding the focus gloves with your partner, just a, a quick point of safety. He's going to hold this glove so it's facing out like this a little bit. Just a little bit. If he holds it flat, first of all, it doesn't quite connect right with my fist. But second of all, there's a chance my, my fist is going to go on the inside and hit him in the face. And that's not, we don't want to do that. So, he's going to hold this here. I'm going to be in range here. I'm going to draw a U with my shoulder here. Okay? I'm not dropping my hand. I'm keeping it up by my chin. I'm going to drop my shoulder, and then I'm going to push off with my hip. Here. Boom. Okay? So now I'm, I'm taking the, the line of force, and I'm sending it up instead of horizontal like I did on a hook. So whereas a hook, I turn my body this way. With the uppercut, I'm popping my hip up. Here. Boom. Okay? Another way I think of it is if... If your arm were broken and it were stuck like this, and you wanted to hit the guy, you'd have to use your hip to throw your arm up. I wouldn't have any you know, ability to move my arm like this. I'd have to use my hip to throw it up. Boom. And then it goes about here and then just relaxes back. Okay? So I'm here. I dip my shoulder in. Pop it up. Good. So I'm not, you know, it's not a... Street Fighter where it's, ha, ah, right up here, right? I'm just coming in enough, boom, right there. And then going into next shot, whatever. So those are the three techniques I want you to go ahead and start playing with. We've got our hook, boom. We've got our shovel hook, boom. And we've got our uppercut here. All right, good.